Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 27th of 2019. Well, it is titled dark dust and colorful clouds near Antares. So what do we see here? Well, this is a portion of the sky near the star Antares, which is down towards the bottom in the yellowish area. It's a bright red supergiant star and one of the brighter stars in the sky, very easily illuminating this. It's also the brightest star in the constellation of Scorpius, the scorpion. And we can see that region. Now, Scorpius is one of the areas that is towards the plane of our galaxy. So when we look towards it, we do see a number of different types of nebulae. And we see those here. And in fact, three different types of nebulae. Uh, we see blue reflection nebulae, as noted at the top here. You can see the bright star known as Rho Ophiuchi. And that is a bright star in the constellation of Ophiuchus, uh, very close to Scorpius. And it is a very hot blue star, and it creates a reflection nebula in the dust around it. The radiation from that star is scattered around, and lots of the blue light, more easily scattered than red, is scattered by dust in the vicinity of the cloud and gives that blue reflection nebula that we see. We also see some red emission nebulae where hydrogen atoms have been excited and caused to glow. So the same ultraviolet radiation that is emitted by these stars can excite or ionize the hydrogen gas and then rip off its electrons. And as those recombine, they will give off different uh, types of energy. But specifically, hydrogen in the visible part of the spectrum gives off a distinct red color and a red glow. Now we also see dark nebulae here, dark dusty areas where there is enough dust to essentially block out the light from behind it. So it's not that there's nothing there, but there's excess material there and it makes it very hard to see. And that dust will make things appear fainter. It'll also make things appear redder as the dust is much better at absorbing and scattering out the blue light than it is the red light. Now one of the other things that we can see here, uh, not part of this uh, or this uh, nebula, these nebulae that we see otherwise, is a globular cluster. Uh, down towards the lower right you can see a cluster of stars and this is a great globular cluster. Again, not part of, the, of this and at a much further distance away than the other stars that we have looked at here. So here we can see kind of all of those different colors looking across the visible spectrum. And of course, astronomers like to study things across the spectrum because they get a more complete picture. So you don't want to look at something just in red or blue light. You want to look at it at all the colors. But it's even more than that because the visible spectrum is just a tiny portion of the electromagnetic energy that objects produce. We also like to look at things in x-rays and gamma rays in the very high energy part of the spectrum and in radio waves in the lower part of the spectrum. So when we study objects across the entire spectrum, we get a very complete picture because some objects do not emit a lot of visible light, but may be very bright in radio waves or x-rays, for example. So just looking at visible light gives us a very biased view, even though it does give us beautiful images like the one we're looking at today. So that was our picture of the day for August the 27th of 2019. It was titled Dark Dust and Colorful Clouds Near Antares. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Galaxy Portrait. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.